Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to show you a really easy way to track your Facebook ads data inside Google Analytics. So information like link clicks or website visits. And it's a three step process. In step number one, we're going to add UTM codes or Google codes to your links. In step number two, you will use that new link with the code in your Facebook ads. And then in step number three, we're going to use Google Analytics to track all the data and measure results. So first of all, for step number one, just go to Google and search for Google URL Builder. And then you'll go to this the first link, Campaign URL Builder, which will look something, I believe, let's actually do this. There we go, so this is what it looks like, yes. So Google Campaign URL Builder. And what this does is, Basically, it lets you add some codes to the links that you're going to use on Facebook or even other on other platforms. And then you can easily track those links using your Google Analytics. So let's actually take this example. Let's say I want to do a Facebook ads campaign and drive traffic to my blog article. So in the website URL, just add your blog article or the link isocialu.com slash video tools then add campaign source what's the source of this campaign here's some examples google if you're sending this in email newsletter so for this i'm doing facebook and specifically i'm creating a facebook ad so i'm just going to say facebook ad and then what's the medium so medium is going to be cpc because we're doing a website click ads or cost per click ad right here and then you can the name of the campaign so this is where you can uh, select if there is any special name for this campaign so I'm just gonna say sale for now but sometimes people are running summer specials winter specials or anything else so any descriptive name in this field will do it and you don't have to worry about the campaign term and content so you can leave those blank so look at this now so here's my the new link that Google generated and if you notice at the end of this I have the question mark and then the source is Facebook ad the campaign is sale and then the medium is CPC super easy now important thing is you can you should copy this link and use this link inside your Facebook ads especially when you're creating website click ads or website conversion ads and another super easy way is you can convert this URL to a short link. Let's do that. There we go. Super, super easy. And then once your Facebook ad starts getting some data and you start getting the clicks on it and traffic to your website or to the blog, you can go to the Google Analytics. And let me actually go to my Google Analytics. And then to look at the data, what you would do is go to audience actually go to acquisition and campaigns again go to acquisition and then campaigns and then click on all campaigns and this is where you will see data here's the campaign name I used on one of my ads and then the source was Facebook ad and the medium was CBC so you can look at all the data from that Facebook ad and all the traffic that's coming. Now let me actually show you a real life example. We actually did this campaign for one of my clients. So let me find, I believe, there we go. So here's the ad that we ran last month for one of my clients. And the URL that we used was this. And if I, I know it's a short URL, but if you open this, So it's, it has proper tagging or UTM codes to it. So the source is Facebook ad, the campaign is top 20 WMT, and the medium is CPC. Now if I go back to Google Analytics, and again, make sure you go to acquisition and campaigns. Here's that campaign. So here's all the data that's coming from that one Facebook ad where we use this link. So this is how the very easy three-step process that you can use to add the UTM codes to the links before you create Facebook ads and then you can track all the data 
the traffic coming to your website using Google Analytics.